What's going on there guys? Good afternoon. It's the Earthmaster here on the live stream on this beautiful Tuesday, August 23rd, 2022 date. It's about 3.24 p.m. California time. The latest quake shows a 3.1 earthquake out in the big blue Pacific. The big island of Hawaii showing quite a bit of uptick over the last 24 hours, including a 4.0 earthquake. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the latest details here on the USGS map. Uh, looks like for the most part, let's go ahead and bring that up. There we go. Uh, a lot of activity westward on the Pacific Plate. Notice all this movement around the Java Trench area. By the way, we did see a 6 point, or this came in as a 6.4. Got downgraded to a 6.2 in this area of the Java Trench. Now this region can see some large earthquakes. I'm talking about 7s and 8s in the magnitude department. It's been a little while since we've had any significant mega quakes out here uh, but earlier did have a 6.2 down there into the java trench at about 55 kilometers deep since then as far as aftershock activity goes i uh, had a 4.8 uh, way up north this one occurring a couple hours later from the 6.2 a little bit of adjustment further up north which makes sense but also fairly deep as well and then uh, subsequently a couple hours later an aftershock but a little bit more shallower here uh, than the 6.2 struck 5.1 18 kilometers so watch this area pretty closely here folks for some larger scale movement uh, it's a good possibility with this type of setup bouncing back and forth with the deeper movement and the shallower activity uh, to watch that area pretty closely for some large scale activity along the Fiji Islands area did see a latest quake of 4.6 down there at 400 kilometers that's Starting to move, folks. Starting to get all that deep earthquake activity once again, recycling the uh, plate tectonics out here. Uh, prior to this deep movement up north, had some shallow activity, a 5.2. This one here, <clears throat> this area right here is the, some of the deepest earthquakes on Earth uh, in this little area right here, just south of Fiji. 4.5 at 514 kilometers and a 4.3 up north. This one was last night there. I remember that 4.3. Uh, just northeast of the Fiji Islands region. Okay, further down south, notice we got a lot of adjustment as well taking place down here on the uh, Antarctica region. 5.8 in the Balani Islands area. Uh, the latest quake. Now this kind of makes sense though. Uh, a lot of the activity we've, we've been seeing um, here further to the east is much, much further back, right? I'm talking about probably, uh, I don't know, well over a thousand miles, a couple thousand miles there it looks like maybe uh, from this earthquake here at the Balani Islands. We've seen a 5.2 and a 5.4. Now ultimately adjustment in the westward, in generally speaking, westward, northwestward pressure movement here from the Pacific Plate makes sense to see the further activity up here in this region and also down or uh, up here uh, along the Tonga and the Kermadec Trench here. So Remember the west and northwestward direction of the Pacific Plate definitely hammering these areas today. And uh, <clears throat> got to watch this region pretty closely. Definitely seen some uh, some interesting development there in that area. But uh, yeah, pretty active. Definitely active here along the Pacific Plate today. The big island here. Now, last night we did see a 4.0 come in to the Pahala region. And... Um, Got an earthquake out there around the Loihi Seamount as well. That one was prior to the 4.0. Let me bring up the all magnitudes here and see what we got. Uh, definitely been kicking up in a pretty big fashion out there around the Pahala area. Now swarming out here, very typical. This has been an ongoing event since, uh, well, I think late 60s, early 60s. There's a whole huge article on it on the Pahala Hawaii earthquake swarm. I've done a couple update videos on it as well. Very typical to see swarming. And on occasion, uh, those fours pop up there as well in the magnitude department. All down there, about 30 to 33 kilometers below the surface. Still not seeing any further uh, activity out here on the Loihi Seamount, though. Now, if we started to see a major swarm uh, like we did here a couple weeks ago, that could be uh, pointing towards some further volcanic activity uh, and some magma movement underneath the, the uh, seamount here. But right now, uh, only had that one earthquake from last night. The majority of the earthquake activity confined up north to the uh, Pahala area. Alaska, 
Beautiful state. Not a whole lot going on up there today. A little spotty in the earthquake activity department. A uh, little swarm around the, uh, what is this? The Wells Mountain area. Kind of down here in this little valley. This little uh, area. It looks pretty shallow here, too, on these earthquakes. We're talking about uh, a lot of these are set at zero kilometers. Uh, some deep as well. Looks like the largest so far are 3.2 in this cluster of earthquakes. Uh, not for sure exactly which fault system that is occurring on. Of course, mountainous areas uh, have quite a few faults in the area. But uh, it's a ways away from any major uh, fault systems out here. So we'll, we'll watch that closely. Some activity around the Gulf of Alaska as well. Stretching over towards the... Uh, uh, Gino area looks like a 3.8 southeastern Alaska the largest one in that uh, movement now the west coast uh, got some activity pretty much from about Seattle southward into uh, portions of Oregon it looks like or at least north of Portland some very small microquake activity around Mount St. Helens and further up to the northeast uh, outside of Yakima uh, northern California got one earthquake here coming in in the last hour near Mount Shasta 1.6 on the uh, kind of looks like on the southeast flank right here negative depth there negative 2.2 very shallow earthquake let me see if this has been reviewed or not uh, it is at an automatic status so this could get revised uh, and updated but that is uh, the uh, preliminary data that's being put out there and some activity further down south towards Reading but uh, looking at the rest of the gold, uh, the state here, uh, I don't know if I'd call it golden or not. Uh, dry grass, I guess. Okay, that might work. Dry fields, no rain, drought stricken, smoky skies. Yeah, it's a golden state, all right. Uh, not a whole lot going on in earthquake activity, folks, until you get down here south of the Garlock Fault shear zone. And we see that all too often when it's busy down here. Most of the time, it's quiet up north of this Garlock Fault shear zone. Uh, today it's a little bit more active down here south of the region. 1.4 way off the coast uh, near the Dana Point area of California. 19 kilometers and quite a bit of activity along the San Jacinto Fault Zone. No major swarms to take note of though around the southern segment of the San Andreas Fault. A little bit of activity on the Brawley Seismic Zone there. Kind of towards the south region of the Salton Sea. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Some movement outside of Yellowstone. We'll check out, uh, I'm going to check out the Mount St. Helens seismograph station here in the, or, uh, not Mount St. Helens, but Mount Shasta seismograph station here in a little bit. And, uh, Yellowstone, a little activity kicking up here. Looks like, uh, outside of the park near the Hebgen Lake area. Let's see what they got. Uh, Yellowstone overview here shows, whoa, here we go. I didn't even see this. Haven't even looked at this today. So it's a pretty good, uh, little little uptick in uh, earthquake activity there around the northwest corner of the park again near Heb Hebgen Lake quite a few earthquakes uh, on the map though they're only showing about 12 within the vicinity uh, but there's definitely a lot more showing up here on this area this is going to be uh, uh, this earthquake right here is going to be that 6.2 that struck there in the uh, Java Trench area I believe with the timestamp right there right before 1500 uh, you can verify that by checking out the timestamp over here on the 6.2, which is uh, 1431. 1431. So, yeah, it's about right. Got to remember distance for the S waves to travel. Uh, puts that at a perfect spot there for that signature uh, from the 6.2 showing up in Yellowstone. And that will show up across uh, uh, many different stations. Kind of looks like there was two of them. You guys see that? Bam, bam. Hmm. But, uh, okay, getting back to localized earthquake activity. It is localized, and it is confined up here once again around the region of Maple Creek, close to the Hepgen Lake area. And uh, there's a good handful. There's probably a good 15, 20, maybe 25 earthquakes here, including the ones within the last hour or so at the area. But looking at the seismograph or the uh, readings here, they're not big ones, folks. They're all microquakes for that matter. And, uh, but hey, the USGS is on one today and they're definitely putting them up on the map, which is good. All right, uh, Texas, Oklahoma. I know Texas had quite a bit of rainfall. Holy smokes around the Dallas area. Those guys uh, got quite a drenching there. I kind of wish we had a fraction of that here in California, but uh, 
Uh, probably not going to happen. Uh, so a little bit of activity throughout Oklahoma and one earthquake around the New Madrid zone, a 1.5 near the Sandburg, Tennessee area. Aside from that, the rest of the states look pretty quiet. Pretty good cluster of movement around the Puerto Rico area today, including one earthquake here around the U.S. Virgin Islands here, 3.0. Uh, let's see what else we got. South America has been ringing a little bit. Uh, no major movement, though. Just a couple fours noted on the board. Uh, trimmer map last night was pretty uh, uh, It's pretty up there. About 339 epicenters of trimmer, mostly on the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. We'll see what it looks like tonight, folks. As uh, they Normally, they put out their updates around um, uh, 6 p.m. or so. So let's check out the Mount uh, Shasta Regional Seismograph Station here. It is still continuing to sit at green. It's a beautiful volcano. I can see it from where I live here. Um, in fact, I was just up there a month or so ago checking out uh, what we thought was like ash fall or uh, uh, ash steam or something coming out of the northwest flank. Uh, found out it was actually uh, ash fall, so to speak, uh, from the melting uh, glaciers up there, the water, a very steep terrain and the soil up there is completely like ash and very fine particles so you get all that melting eroding away uh, at a very steep level and uh, you get these little rock falls and whatnot and uh, they kick up some ash so that's kind of what that was oh yeah perfect timing train perfect timing let's check out the uh, seismograph station here real quick at Mount Shasta see what we got it is a majestic steep sided stratovolcano beautiful volcano but man it's uh it'll, it'll be busy one day and uh let's see where's their uh where their earthquake activity go here seismicity map here let me see if i can access that hopefully what am i doing different hold on standby for just a second here Oh, I was just on this one. I'm wondering why I can't see the uh, seismograph station. Let's see what we got. Not for sure what's going on. Normally we can. Um, oh, yeah. I, dude, my brain is like so overloaded right now from school. I'm not even going to lie. I'm taking quite a few classes. So a little bit of <laughs> overload in the brain department here. But that's okay. Uh, seismic stations here mounted all across the base here. We'll go ahead and check out. Uh, there's a GPS station right there, but we'll check out the seismograph station. Some of these don't work. I remember that. Uh, but we'll look around. I think this one did. There's not a whole lot going on. In fact, there's there's the recent earthquake there that we've seen on the USGS map. Just a little small microquake. But looking across the... Uh, um, last 24 hours or so just shows uh, that's about it. There's no major swarms, no major movement going there at uh, Mount at Mount Shasta. Uh, solar weather activity has been uh, kind of declining. Let's take a look and see if the uh, sunspot is uh, getting its act together or not. Kind of looks like it's just the same as yesterday. When was this updated? Um, August 23rd doesn't look super uh kind of just looks like the same that it did uh, last night it's not growing anymore it's not getting complex that means no uh, hardly any chance for any type of major flaring going on there is a 60 percent chance of a sea flare but i think that's being somewhat generous uh in that aspect of 3085 uh, a couple new sunspots developing around the eastern limbs here uh, eastern limb i should say north and south but uh as big as 3085 is, it's not getting that super complex uh, delta field that could uh, harbor a uh, an M flare. Right now, it sets at a beta a beta class, magnetic class that is. Um, and these guys showing 15 percent chance for an M flare. So looks like maybe right in here we're getting a little bit of a new development in the field. We'll see how that plays out though, uh, for sure. Aside from that, uh, no major changes there to the uh, three-day geomagnetic forecast, according to these folks. And looking at the current solar weather data shows a decline in speed there, uh, density, and uh, everything looks stable there on the interplanetary magnetic field chart. So uh, a little bit of quiet time right now. 
quiet time sometimes good right all right guys have a good night or a uh, good day we will be back a little bit later tonight again i had some issues with the uh computer overnight i burned up a second fan for my gpu and uh so we're kind of running on half power right now uh streaming here on the live uh, channel with uh, yeah, 1080 at 60 frames a second. I've been streaming at 4k at 60 frames a second for quite a while But uh, I don't want to overcook my GPU. So we're just doing a little fraction of what the uh, uh, My graphics card can do Until I get my new uh, cooling fan here in a couple days, but uh, we're doing all right. We're doing all right We'll make it work. I always uh, uh, If thing goes if something goes out, I always find a way to temporarily Put a patch on it, kind of like duct tape in a way, but I don't have that on my computer, trust me. Just uh, trying to keep the GPU cool and um, also keep the channel up and still do, uh, you know, updates and whatnot, uh, which I think we're doing just fine. 1.3 in the Southern California area, the latest quake shown up there on the map. Again, watch the Java Trench region, seeing quite a bit of swarming around this area, north and south of there. Uh, this area can see some rather large earthquakes once again. So stay safe, folks. We'll chat you guys a little bit later on tonight. Peace out.